Proby the Space Probe, Mission 1, The Ocean of Europa, written and illustrated by Gregory Charmanti. The robot space probe named Proby is being told about his mission to Europa, one of the moons of planet Jupiter. You will need to drill through thick ice to reach an underground ocean, explains a scientist. You should capture any life forms that you find there, says another scientist. Life forms are living things such as fish, bugs, plants, birds, snakes, frogs, and cats. Liftoff. Proby's rocket launches from planet Earth. Once it reaches space, the capsule at the top separates from the rocket and speeds off toward Jupiter. Inside the capsule, Proby is excited to start his mission. I'm on my way, he says. After a long journey, Proby can see the huge planet Jupiter. It is so big that 1,000 Earths could fit inside of it. Wow, that's really big, he says. Proby looks for the small moon Europa, which circles around Jupiter. Jupiter has more than 60 moons, unlike the Earth, which has only one. Proby finds Europa and prepares to land. He can see many large cracks in its icy surface. The capsule lands safely on Europa, and Proby begins to drill through the ice. He drills and drills and drills, creating a deep, deep hole. Finally, he splashes into the water below and separates from the drill. It is very dark down here, he says. He turns on his headlights so that he can see better. Something large swims by quickly in the darkness. Proby's eyes open wide with surprise. That looks like some kind of creature, he shouts, trying to see where it went. He uses his jets to speed after it, but he soon loses sight of it. Proby is about to give up his search, when a volcano erupts with a fire so bright that it shows the creature's hiding place. The purple life form has fins like a fish, tentacles like an octopus, and a hard shell like a snail. Proby moves in to capture it with his robotic arms, and the scared creature chirps, squeak squack, squeak squack. Proby cannot understand the creature's squeaky sounds. Maybe it is smart and it is trying to talk to me, he wonders. He begins to think that it is wrong to capture this life form. What if this alien creature is as smart as a person? You are free to go. I will not hurt you, Proby says. The creature swims away as fast as it can, leaving a cloud of bubbles. Proby is sad that he forgot to take photos of the fish creature. He was so busy trying to capture it that he never turned his camera on. Now I have nothing to show the scientists back home, he mutters. He jets on through the cold, dark water, feeling like his mission is a complete failure. Suddenly, Proby becomes tangled in a sticky green plant growing high above the ocean floor. Oh no! It is wrapped around me so tightly that I cannot break free, he shouts. Even worse, Proby hears a loud roar echo through the ocean. Now what could that be? he asks fearfully. A giant orange shark-like creature is swimming straight toward Proby. I guess I will be eaten. Now no one will ever learn about the creatures I have discovered here, Proby says as the shark creature's sharp jaws open wide. Just as Proby is about to be eaten, three of the purple fish creatures appear, carrying stone spears. They fight off the shark creature and cut Proby loose from the plant. Thank you, says a happy Proby. You've saved my life. Proby remembers that plants are life forms, so he takes a small piece of the broken sticky plant to bring home with him. Proby follows the fish creatures to their village, which is carved into the rock of an underwater mountain. He takes many photos and also records their squeaky sounds. I bet that you are as curious about me as I am about you, Proby says. Squeak, squack, squeak, squack, they chirp back excitedly. After waving goodbye to the fish creatures, Proby goes back up through the hole in the ice and into his capsule. He takes the piece of the sticky plant and stores it safely on board. It is good to be warm and dry again, he says, as the capsule lifts off from Europa and heads back to Earth. The scientists are overjoyed with Proby's photos and recordings of the fish creatures. 
Good thing you did not hurt any of these life forms. They seem to be very smart, says one scientist. Maybe someday we will learn to talk to them, says another scientist. They are also excited about the piece of plant Proby brought back, and they cannot wait to study it. Proby is happy that his mission was a success, and he will always remember the new friends he made in the ocean of Europa. The end.